Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your Acer Spin 3, SP315, Solid State Drive or RAM or both together, whatever you're interested in. Also, you're going to see uh, what's going on inside of this laptop. And of course, you're going to see how you can open up this laptop. You need a little screwdriver like I have there. If you don't have one, you can purchase them online. Remove all the screws from the back panel. It shouldn't take you more than maybe two or three minutes. I'm going to speed things up. I'm not that fast now in real life, believe me. Okay, once the screws are removed, you need, hopefully you have something plastic like I have there. If not, I don't know, try to use your credit card maybe or something plastic anyway. Don't use metal, especially sharp metal knife or whatever. There's only two things what's going to happen. You're going to damage your laptop or you're going to damage your hands. So don't recommend doing that. And you can see it does resist quite a bit. If that laptop was open now once or twice before, it would come off a lot easier. So it doesn't, so take good care anyway. No panic, no rush. It will come off eventually. It didn't take me more than a minute. So there we have it. That's the look of the inside of the laptop now. It's actually better than I was expecting. So I'm actually quite happy what you can upgrade and what you can't. There's a battery. There's your 2.5 inch hard drive. It's desperately slow now for Windows, Windows 10, especially Windows 11, of course. So don't recommend using this hard drive now for operating system. I'm going to leave this hard drive in it, but just strictly for storage and files. There's your DDR4 RAM slot. There's only one slot. There's four gigs in it at the moment, and also there's four gigs soldered to the motherboard. So you, uh, you, you have eight gigs at the moment in total, but I'm going to upgrade RAM now in a few minutes. So you're going to see what I'm going to install in there. There's your M2 solid state drive slot. It's empty as well at the moment, but I'm going to also add something to it now in, in a minute. Just a closer look now, there's a 2.5 inch hard drive, which you can upgrade also to solid state drive, 2.5 inch solid state drive. There's your DDR4 RAM slot, only one. There's your Wi-Fi card. And there's your M2 solid state drive slot. And by the way, CPU is not upgradable on this laptop, so you can forget about that. This laptop has i3 6th generation CPU in it. Before you start upgrading anything, remove the battery cable from the motherboard. Just a safety, I suppose. That's your RAM, what was in it at the moment, 4 gigs. I'm going to upgrade that to 8 gigs, so in total this laptop will have 12 gigs of RAM. And I'm going to leave some details in the description as well, so it's going to be easier for you to find if you're looking for RAM or your solid state drive. So. There it is, there's 120 gigabyte Kingston solid state drive. M2. Also, I'm going to leave some reference in the description, so it's going to be easier for you to find the same one or, or, or a bit more storage, whatever you're looking for. I didn't need more than that. It's, it's all right for operating system because I'm going to leave the 2.5 inch hard drive in it just for storage. So there'll be in total, there'll be more than 600 gigs in this laptop. So that's it. Laptop is upgraded. Don't forget to plug in your battery again. And you can put the back cover back again now. And same thing now. You kind of have to take good care. Just push it in gently and screw the screws back in again. Hopefully now this video was helpful for you. Like if you're looking to upgrade RAM or solid state drive or even just to see how the motherboard looks like or how the battery looks like. So 
Hopefully this is some reference for you here and if it was helpful, leave the comment, thumbs up and subscribe of course. And you know what? Have a good life. Bye bye.